Well, I'm not that type of person that wish bad, that wish the bad to anybody. But I'm so glad that that um, kid that um, came from, I believe, uh, Venezuela, uh, got caught, you know, and um, he got arrested. This individual, he went to um, Times Square, one of the store, and you know, somebody was trying to stop him, him stop him because he was stealing stuff, shoplifting. And his answer to the person that trying to stop him was to freaking shoot at that person. So he started shooting. You know, he got a bystander, a tourist from uh, Brazil, I believe. And he kept going like nothing happened. He was just shooting in plain view, in public, like nothing happened. And I'm so happy for the New York City Police Department that they were able to locate that individual and arrest him. Because this is one of the things that we see nowadays, you know, minors um, from other country, not to say nothing bad about any, any, any other race or any other ethnicity, but how are you gonna come to the United States? How are you gonna have the opportunity to be here in this beautiful country? And instead of take the opportunity to do the well, the, the good things, to do the right thing, you just wanna go out there and do whatever you want. And, you know, that's the case. And in, 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 that's the case right now with this kid. You know, he came from, Venezuela, he, um, he's been here since September, according to the news, to the media, and he just out there doing the wrong thing, you know, and I'm so glad that he got apprehended and he got charged. He's going to be charged as an adult and justice is going to be served because I feel bad for that person that came from other country to enjoy the beauty of this beautiful nation and unfortunately got caught up in in the middle of that situation. So in today's episode, we want to talk about um, protection and security. You know, there's a lot going on in the city. There's a lot going on around the world. There's a lot going on around across the nation. And people just have to be careful. You have to be careful when you go out there because you don't know who's who. And you don't know what people nowadays are carrying, whether they carrying, you know, weapons, legal or illegal. You just got to be careful and you have to learn how to protect yourself, how to be, you know, aware of your surrounding due to the fact that, as we can see, anybody out there could have a weapon and shoot at you like nothing. People shooting for no reason, people shooting just because they have the weapon. And sometimes I feel like they just shooting for fun. Because how are you going to go and like Times Square, you know, Times Square, the, the slowest day you probably see around two, 200 people walking around, shopping, you know, taking pictures, doing videos and stuff like that. And you're just going to go out there and, you know, start shooting like, you in a Wild Wild West or something like that, like if you playing a movie or something, this is crazy. And this is one of the reasons why, you know, law enforcement, um, they had to be careful. They had to protect themselves. They had to be aware of the surrounding. They had to be, you know, always alert in terms of protection to themselves and protection to others. People nowadays just walk around with weapons and nobody can do pretty much anything thanks to the new uh, uh, laws and thanks to the politician and thanks to the city council and everybody else involved. So this is my thing, you know. You are out there to do what you were hired to do. Do it the best way you can. Do it the best way you can perform you know, enforce as much as you can enforce, but at the same time, just be careful. Be careful because your life and your significant others are more than anything else. And that's the way you have to look at it. You know, sometimes people go out there 
And they trying to perform their job. They trying to do the best they can. And even though they doing whatever they supposed to do and whatever they were trained to do, it's a little bit hard nowadays because of the new laws, because of the people around, because of the, um, you know, scrut scrutiny, because of the, you know, there's a lot of factor. And I remember the other day somebody asked me, um, uh, the question was, do you think that police officer or people, you know, that had to do with law enforcement, whether it's a FBI, a federal agent, an agent, a police officer, a, a, a city, a, you know, courts, officers, and anybody that had to do with law enforcement, do you think they, they go out there and they're afraid to do their job? And my answer was no. You know, they're not afraid. They're not afraid to do what they're supposed to do because they were trained to do it, but they might be afraid of the media and the people around them in terms of how they treat them and how everything is against them. So I don't think any police officer or any FBI agent or any federal agent, court officer, or anything that had to do with law enforcement are afraid out there. They were, they were world trained. They were, tra you know, the, they, they went to special, special training so now they know they know specifically how to how to deal with people. They know what to do. They know their job. They are professionals, and I believe that ninety nine percent of them they know exactly what to do and how to do it. But you know, in saying that, I wouldn't say that you know there's not some people that might feel any type of way because in reality. Even though they're trying to do what they're supposed to, you know that it's always going to be questioned. So that's the thing. If you do what you're supposed to do and you are trained to do it and you were hired to do it, but at the same time, you know, everything you do, it has to be questioned, then you have to be smart. You have to be smart and at the same time, you have to be careful as well because at the end of the day, if you get hurt, if you get killed, if you get shot, no one else gonna suffer that more than your family. No one else gonna be, um, you know, really uh, concerned about that because you're just a number. They kill you tomorrow or they kill you today and tomorrow they're gonna replace you for 2,000 more or 1,000 more. So that's why you just gotta be careful. You just gotta protect yourself. You gotta do what you gotta do. You got to be smart and, you know, just keep going until the time comes. When the time comes, then you just retire and hopefully you get your pension. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I have to say. But when it comes to that question, you know, uh, people could say whatever they want to say. People could feel whatever they, they want to feel and express themselves as much as they can. But at the same time, Whenever people have any type of issue, whether it's an argument, whether it's a dispute or a disagreement, they pretty much don't solve it themselves. They always going to call those people that they might think are afraid to do the job. So um, this is this is what it is. You know, this this is what it is. And that's how it is. Unfortunately, we're living in a era or a world that. Um, pretty much doesn't care about anybody but themselves. There's no respect for law enforcement. There's no respect for teachers. There's no respect for parents. There's no respect for people in position with titles and and so on. So <clears throat> I would say that um, just be careful. Be careful out there on the street, people that are going to work, people that are driving on the street, people that are driving on the highway and stuff like that. Just be careful because... I know that there's a lot of people mad at themselves or mad at who knows, and they just go there to do whatever they supposed to do in terms of getting away with whatever they get away. So just be careful, be careful, and um, protect yourself as much as you can, and do your job the best as you can, with the best of your ability, and just keep going. You know, sometimes. Even though you're trying to do the right thing, 
people look at you like if you're the bad one, like if you the like if you're doing the wrong. But at the end of the day, the ultimate goal is to do the to do your job, do it right, and come back home to your family. Once you perform that way, and once you do it that way, you will always have a, some sort of satisfaction and uh, self uh, payment that uh, nobody else could do it for you. So you just do it right, do it the way you're supposed to do it, do it how you were trained, protect yourself, protect others, and keep going. Keep going because the time goes fast, and in a blink of an eye, you know, you'll be done with your time, and you will have another story to tell to your family, to your kids, to your cousin and nephews, you know, that you're going to be able to tell them, you know, one time I was a law enforcement, and I did this, I helped this person, I helped that person, and I saved this person, and I arrest this person, and I locked up this person, but at the same time, or the main point is to have a story to tell and say it the right way and in a good terms. So this is all I have for today. Just be careful, protect yourself, you know, um, be smart. Don't worry about what people are saying. Don't worry about what people are doing. Don't worry about cameras, people recording you. Don't worry about people uh, filming you with your set with the cell phones and stuff like that. Just do it the way you were trained to do it. And hopefully you'll be able to go home to your family. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for more.